Hey, what's up, everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool animation by just simply using Figma. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are in Figma, and I have this illustration in this artboard here. So before animating this, we need to optimize this uh, illustration to make sure that it is set up in a way that we can animate it easily. So the first thing is to keep all of these parts of the body as well as the bicycle as separated groups or layers. So you can see that I have this head here is in separated groups and inside all of these are also an individual layers and also for the neck and the body as well as the arms. And the most important part is these legs because it's going to be the, the most animated feature of this uh, animation. So I have this upper leg here is a separated shape and same for this lower legs. And for this foot, I attach it to the pedal of the bicycle. Uh, so we can simplify it just as one group like this. Uh, so we can easily move and rotate it around. And you can see that I simplify this part of the bicycle because the more simple it is, the easier it's gonna be to animate it. So we don't want to add unnecessary detail here. Uh, so let's just keep it really simple like this. So the same for the other legs here. Um, so yeah, that is how you set up a illustration or the vector shape to um, optimize for animation. Um, all right, so next step, I'm going to select this arbor and duplicate it into the second one. So basically with this second arbor, I'm going to create the next state of the animation. And then we will use the prototype feature to connect this and it will automatically create a transition between the first state to the second state. All right, so with this second state, I'm going to focus on this shape. We're going to use this shape to become the anchor point. So I'm going to rotate this one to minus 45 degree. Now we'll move the foot as well as a pedal to match up with the rotation of this shape here. And I will also move the lower legs to match up with the positioning of the foot like this and the same for the upper legs so the key is just to adjust this part to look natural um, so it will be something like this and we'll do the same for the other legs so we'll move it to this position here so it will anchor to this point of the circle and move the lower legs down and also adjust this upper leg to look natural. Um, so we have the second stay like this. So now we have the two stays. So I will demonstrate quickly how to make the transition. So let's go to prototype. And then I'm going to select the first stay and then just click on this little dot right here and then connect it to the second state and release and it will open up this uh, setting dialog so uh, let's click here to select the trigger of the transition so i will select after delay because we want it to happen immediately with no trigger at all so i'm going to set the timing as one so this is the minimal that you can set so it's almost happened immediately um, and then it will navigate to uh, state two and make sure to select smart animate um, so with this one it will morph any vector shape with the same name from one to another state to create the transition so select smart animate and make sure to select linear animation and duration i think it can be 300 milliseconds is fine um, so now you can click on this to preview so you can see that uh, let me just zoom it so now you can see that it is created this transition here um, so that's the basic process all we need to do next is to duplicate the second state and create the third state and do the same process so i'm going to rotate this to 90 degree uh, minus 90, 90 degree angles and then move the foot to this position and also move the lower legs so it will look natural so i think it should be something like this so 
same here with the just rotation so it look like this and same for the other legs move it down here and also move this lower leg so we can turn off this layer so you can see better and it should be like this and make sure to turn it on so we have the third stay ready and apply do the same so i'm going to quickly try to see if it's working and apply the same after delay one uh yeah oh good uh, so yeah let's select one and preview so yeah we have this longer animation so it's looking pretty good so for the wheel we're going to do the same except that i wanted to rotate faster than the pedal so uh, for the second stay i'm going to rotate it instead of like 45 degree i'm going to rotate it 90 degree uh, like this so we have minus 9, 90 degrees here and for the third stay we're going to make it the full circle so now you can see the wheel is moving faster than the pedal so now all we need to do next is to apply the same process for the rest of the animation cycle So after you get to the end of the animation cycles, uh, all you need to do is to select this one and connect it back to the very first stage and apply the same setting. So now we have the full animation cycle, so let's give it a preview. Alright, so now we have this animation running pretty smoothly, so I think it's looking pretty good. And then with this setup, you can even add more nuance to the animation by adding some extra motion to the other part of the guy. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate. So um, we're going to go to the second state and then I'm going to make his hair moving a little bit. So scale it up a little bit. And for the third state, I'm going to make it even messier like this and with this i'm going to apply the same amount at the second stay um so yeah just something like that so let's just preview it to see how it go so now you can see that it will eventually you know moving um up and down like this so just quickly demonstrate it you can um have a full creativity to uh create to try like to try different motion for the head and for also like for the box here to create a much cooler animation than this so yeah that's the basic process of create this animation purely on figma so everyone can do this in super easy so i hope you find this helpful and i will see you in the next one